the great themes like blockchain and robotic process automation and um, data and analytics. These are big things that um, we hear a lot about, but we don't necessarily hear answers that are really germane to people who do business in Bermuda. And so um, that's the, why the agenda was set up. And the take home for me is that we are relatively underdeveloped in, in each of those areas, really. The intention is there, and I think that's probably informed somewhat by people getting excited by the, the material, but um, the actual implementation is, is quite, you know, relatively under, underdeveloped. I mean, some of the major players, uh, international business, are, you know, putting their toe in the water and, and, and some of it even implemented and experimented. But I wouldn't say, say large-scale fintech has hit Bermuda yet. Why is that? Um, I think the government's position has definitely made a difference. Um, it's made people perhaps address those questions that I referred to um, in, a, in a much more sort of um, inward looking way. Um, but I would say that there's much more about fintech other than, uh, you know, um, blockchain and or, or sorry, coin offerings and, and cryptocurrency. The use of blockchain, which is which is a technology that underlies it. Um, coin offerings uh, is one that has you know profound potential operational um, benefits and, um, and 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 yet it is still relatively undeveloped here in Bermuda. It's uh, I don't think there's any one sector that's really grasped uh, the opportunity yet. Um, why is that? I think um, a degree of inertia. Um, the, the the business models in Bermuda are relatively settled. Um, uh, there are, there has been disruption in certain sectors uh, over the last um, 10 or 15 years, but they haven't been technology driven. At this stage, do you think that there is an actual danger in fintech being underdeveloped here? But although, you know, we're a small island, uh, we have uh, large businesses here and they operate on a global stage. And there is a danger that um, their competitive position may be eroded if they don't adopt technologies which are genuinely relevant to them and their customers. Um, so uh, yes, I, I would say that there's a danger. Is it an imminent danger? Um, I wouldn't say that, but uh, you know, there's always a burning platform uh, when it comes to innovation and, uh, and, and failure to adopt emerging technologies. So uh, I, it's not a, something that, they, that anybody can sit on their hands and do nothing about. There's ways of doing you, things that you do now better. Uh, and then the other end of the spectrum is, is being a disruptor and actually um, uh, making the way things are done now obsolete. I think the established uh, businesses in Bermuda are very happy to consider things that make their businesses run better the way that they do business now. Um, disruption, I think you're more likely to see that through new entrants to the market. I mean, you know, there are some innovators in the in the established business community, but I think of its nature, the small, nimble, new entrants to the market are the ones that are going to be the disruptors. So um, I think what the government are doing is trying to bring new business to the island. Um, of course, they don't want to um, prejudice existing business, but they do want to put um, you know some competitive pressure in there for the greater benefit of the economy, and I and I do understand that. Uh, obviously there needs to be balance and we will see how that shakes out.